Hello and welcome, I'm the 7th Star General, my name is Caleb, welcome to the stream, and tonight we're going to be playing some City Skylines in Star Meadows, our uh, nice city here, with the airport's DLC, and uh, hello 7 Militaries, good to see you. And we were talking about, uh, we we're going to start probably redoing this area and building our ore. Uh, our ore industry after we build a little more residential over here and start building this up some more let's uh let's dive right into it tonight tomorrow will be hearts of iron 4 where we uh hopefully conclude our usa uh, playthrough but for now
let's add some buses to this area. We're going to start by adding a school bus line. Do kind of a simple, simple school bus line here. There you go. That's a bus that goes zigzagging through the whole area. Now what I'm going to do is go here. We're going to hit a couple areas that the other doesn't. Hey, what's up, Sarge Squad? Good to see you, man. Hey, Ben. Okay, so that gets you to the Aquatic Center. Crosswords. Cro crosswords. That was a classic time. Oh man. Yeah, I was just thinking about that the other day about how I've been streaming for gonna be eight years in June regularly. That's crazy to think of. I was actually looking at computer prices and stuff and server prices and I might actually be able to um, like afford some things. Coming up here. Pretty excited. Because I pretty much... Pretty much got almost the same setup with a couple little upgrades here and there. Um, but it's basically the same setup from that day. It's crazy. It's showing its age a little bit though, I think.
Yep, treadmill MLV days. Oh man, those were the days. Like that was that, that was a lot more difficult, especially uh, shooter games. That was that was hard. That was when I was still playing Call of Duty too. I think there's still invisible uh, buildings from the old. Uh, In the old format. That's what I'm trying to delete. Trying to get it to fill in with new buildings. Yeah, the treadmill did end up breaking at the end of the day. It was kind of sad. Yeah, I used it that much. <laughs> it's kind of what it boiled down to. Yeah, like, uh... I don't know, we'll see. You know me, I don't like promising stuff like that. Fix this area so it doesn't look so sparse. I can't because of the way the the land sits. Yeah, I might just have to live with it. Looking sparse, but technically still working. Yeah, I remember the day I had to throw the uh, treadmill in the in the in the dumpster. It was a sad day. Very, very sad day. Hey, good morning. Thankfully, it's not morning yet where I am. <laughs> What's up, HDL? Good to see you, man. What's up, General O'Clock? Yeah, I think... Um, the, uh, I think it was the supports for the tread broke. What's funny is, is I lost more weight in the last year, uh, like, just locking down on dieting than I ever did, um, doing the treadmill thing, but I got a lot of endurance doing the treadmill thing, so it had its perks. A lot of endurance. I wish I had some of it back. Yeah, just kind of had to buckle down. Had a couple scary instances happen with blood sugar. 
and then just not feeling good. So I decided to just buckle down and and uh, try to find something I could actually do. I, I think that was the biggest the biggest thing that led to success was to try to find something that would that would fit how I am. Once I did that, the rest just worked. Hey! What's up, Gonzo? Good to see you. Right, right? Yeah, soon. Let's see. What have you been up to these days, Sard Squad? I'm gonna change these to single lane. There's no need to be double laned up here. We're gonna be residential. An airport to build? What's up, man? I demand you build an airport! <laughs> What's up? Uh, I know sometimes it, pr it probably gets lost in translation. All good, man. Well, right now we're just trying to keep the city growing. I don't want to lose the growth that we're getting here. I demand at once. Parking and parking. Okay. Toll booth. Nah, I'm not. I'm not charging people tolls. Tolls. I kind of. I'm kind of against tolls. That's what taxes are for. If you can't honestly charge me taxes, why are you charging me tolls? Actually, uh, I don't mind tolls if it's uh, to pay for pay off like the bridge and stuff, but not like forever tolls, just so you can get your grubby hands on my money. Do I know Mr. Beast? No, I do. I do not know him personally. I know of him as the person who watches YouTube. Might be better. Do you know the muffin bat? He lives on Drury Lake. I don't know why that came to my head with Do You Know Mr. Beast? Okay. There's the land value where it's green, that's high land value, blue is low. Well, white's low, but. Anyway. So, let's see. I think we're doing pretty good on services. I just need to. Just need to spread the seeds. Keep it, keep it watered and watch it grow. I'm trying to remember the ch, -ch, -ch chia it's like commercial that was on TV all the time when I was growing up. Everybody wanted a chia pet. Ch 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 chia. <laughs> That's funny. 
That reminds me of, uh, I think it was Dirty Jobs went to, um, went to an African, uh, monkey reserve. And, uh, one of their cameramen got bit by a monkey. And they had to just keep shooting. They actually showed it on the show. That probably knocked out everybody's power. Yeah, he had like a it almost looked like human teeth marks on his on his calf. Oof, that's that's uh it's freaky. See, it's more interesting if they feel threatened when they... Oh, it's more if they see... Yeah, they feel threatened, yeah. Well, it was one of those places where the... Uh, the animals basically run the place. But no, lions in the streets... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was one of those... Uh, the reserve that they had gone to was one of those places that just seemed like... Um... Seem like the type of place where the animals kind of run the show. And the owner even got mad at the camera crew for like, you know, I guess getting mad that they got bit. I don't know. It was kind of wild and crazy. Oop, we are out of power. Oh, bad. It got you. I can't go up over the top because it's too high. Such a weird, interesting area now. Wonder if they're gonna have some earth homes here. Oh, dang it. I thought I had it connected. He's blind. Oh, that's why. No, I think the lady was just crazy. Like, didn't care for humans. Just watching the show. Not a... Not a big lover of the uh, species called humanity. Which I guess is perfect for a person that's a monkey reserve, uh... ...person. I guess that's how you get that job. Not to knock them all out of power again. You know, not really a job I'd be seeking. To live with monkeys all day long. Insert joke there. Hmm.
guess we can put stores up here. Strange, but okay. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. get a little cozy community up here well a little cozy community up here people that want to be a little away doesn't want the man anywhere near their land Get off my property. Get off my lawn. Just drawing, drawing crazy lines. What you drawing? There we go. Good enough for me. See, let's give him a dog park.
Can you give him a bounty house too? There you go. Give him a bounty house. Just like in Canada. Bouncy houses for freedom. What we got? That's a little little community tucked into the side of the mountain. And we had a hundred K today, that'd be awesome. Okay. I'm going to develop this area here, and then after we develop this area, then we're going to go build that ore area, I think. Let's ore. Actually, we got to connect the highway on this side first before we do the ore stuff. I really want to get to it. So, we're definitely doing it today. It's just a matter of when. It is not if, it is when. A two lane? No. This song is the song they play at the World War II Museum after you see the uh, 4D movie experience. It's a really cool song. I like it. You're watching this in four dimensions! No, they don't do that, but it is a really cool movie. I recommend it. You go to the New Orleans D-Day Museum, which is like World War II Disneyland. And takes you probably just as long to get through it. Yeah, 4D. So they it's uh they have multiple layered uh, projection screens to give a 3D look, and then they have props that pop up everywhere for the fourth dimension. And then your seat rumbles and shakes and twists and turns, and then um, they have other effects that happen. Uh, during it, including uh, when I when it first was built, they did this really cool simulation of a nuclear bomb blast. That was cool. They dumbed it down nowadays because of people with seizures, because they used uh, strobe lights to try to simulate what it'd be like to look at a nuclear blast. It was intense and awesome. But they kind of dumbed it down now, but it kind of gives you the same experience without, I guess, the seizures for the epileptic. But it's just not quite as impactful as the original. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. See, I don't want too many... I don't want too many roads connecting into a couple of these. What is that music? Yeah, it's like a really cool place. They have a uh, European theater and a uh, Pacific theater, uh, separate museums that are really awesome. Really, really like, it's a huge interactive museum. Very well thought of, thought out, very well done. Okay, almost like a VR set. Oh, yeah, kinda, kinda, yeah. Except no VR, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it was really cool. Uh, Tom Hanks narrates it. Uh, the movie that is that you see, and uh, they try to they try to like give you a feel of the war in about I don't know forty minutes, hour. It's about an hour. Yep. Yeah, this one had uh, I think one effect that. Um, uh, for a certain part where thing, where like uh, 
They simulated snow falling. And then they also have like a big model plane at one bomber plane. Yeah. They tried to make you feel like you're in one of those hundred um like one scene they tried to simulate you being on a bomber in a hundred bomber uh I don't know what you call it, uh brigade or formation over Germany or Japan. Like that's that kind of stuff's ridiculous. Or they try to make another one they made you they tried to simulate what it would feel like fighting in the jungles in the Pacific. That was freaky. Like, mad respect for all those guys that did that. That fought that war. And made it so that I don't have to. that's like next level ridiculous in a good way where's the let's give these guys a skate park yeah i feel a punk vibe up here yeah so i totally recommend it they also have a uh, submarine like kind of set where you can like where you interact with the uh, submarine um you reenact battles on a submarine and like each person that goes in is uh like has a job on the submarine that that a person at that time would or like a uh a seaman seaman a navy person a person on the ship would have at the time So it was really cool like and then like they try to they try to simulate that experience of what it would of like all the commands being brought out and what the battle would feel like and and then like what would be seen it's just it's just crazy in a good way we got grass ports there so we got enough stuff do some parking We need, we need people to fill the jobs, is what's happening right now. We don't have enough people to fill all the jobs in the city. We need people to go get jobs. Jobs. I'm calling you jobs. Jobs, not the... <laughs> jobs. Yeah, it all depends on what part of the country you're going to. New Orleans is uh, is not like the rest of the U.S., I'll tell you that. If you go to New Orleans to experience New Orleans, it is its own thing. But it is really cool. There's a lot of history, a lot of culture here. But it is totally different than the rest of the United States. That coming from somebody that came from the north... About 1,200 miles north, New Orleans is nothing like the rest of the U.S. <laughs> a lot of the U.S. is pretty similar here and there. Like, you have your, like, distinct areas. Like, I'm from the Midwest, which is the north-central part by the Great Lakes. Then you got um, your northeast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. True experience, yes, yes. Then you have the Northeast, where you got your Boston, your New York, Philly. Like, that's kind of another kind of culture up there. Um, then you have your South. New Orleans is a country of its own. Pretty close. Um, I like to call it North Haiti. Oh, thank you. What's up? Stream like nobody's watching. I got it at uh, PAX uh, South. 
in San Antonio. Yeah, New Orleans is like a culture of its own. Like, it's part of the U.S., but it's not like the U.S. Now, other parts of Louisiana are more are more like the the rest of the U.S., but even that's Louisiana itself is just a it's just a great different place. Cannot be misunderstood. I like this place, but the culture shock I had moving here was next level. Is it really like they show you in the movies and stuff? New Orleans? Um, it, it all matters what part. Build some house on that mountain? Uh, we might. We're, we're kind of... We're kind of trying to fit this little city into the bottom here. Let's see. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to snug this road in. It would be cool. Yeah. I think so, too. Like, uh, there's the area that everybody knows about New Orleans, which is the French Quarter. You know, for somebody like me... There's not a whole, like, I'm, I'm a born again Christian, so that doesn't drink. So like the French quarter is cool for some of the restaurants and like the river walks cool and Cafe de Mans cool. And like a couple of the stores here and there. Do I know India? No, I do not know India. So like, um, but because I don't drink and I don't do the kind of stuff that's in the French quarter, I barely go down there ever. Like I, like, I'll, but it is kind of a cool touristy area if you want to walk around, see the French Quarter. Uh, they got street musicians down there, and they got, you know, you can walk along the Mississippi or take the steamboat ride. They got the aquarium down there. Oh, nice. So, like, there's still a lot to do and not be part of Bourbon Street. Uh, I usually, I 100% stay away from Bourbon Street because there's nothing there for me. But, um, but you know, it, 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 it's, uh, these days though, I haven't been down there because the mayor has been requiring a vaccine passport. So I actually don't know what it's like in New Orleans right now. So where I'm at, they, they totally skipped all that as far as like, I mean, we had, we were shut down, but as far as like vaccine passports and stuff like that, we didn't have to do that in the, in the suburbs. Because I'm in the surrounding area of New Orleans. Try India ones? What do you mean? Open that up a little. Let's see, you want houses in the country in the in the hillside, huh? Probably do a line here. Up here. Yeah, I don't want to put anything that'll pollute the water. Oh, COVID okay, gotcha, gotcha. I mean the touristy stuff is kind of the lifeblood of that area of New Orleans, and they really do it up and they do it well. Um, it's very French um, and European as far as like, so it's got a great name. Cheap and works. <laughs> Don't tell Pfizer that. Yeah, um, but there's a lot of good restaurants down there. Like, it, it's definitely worth going to for some of the restaurants and, um, and like the kind of river walk experience and the New Orleans experience. Oh, I'm joking, saying Pfizer, you know, around here, they're just trying to take everybody's money in the US. 
even if it's the government's money. You can't eat beef. Well, I think New Orleans is a lot of seafood. Well, everybody pays for their vaccines somehow. I guess even if it's for even if it's with your freedom. I mean, I mean, talk with your doctor. See what's right for you. Yeah, ours, the government just pays it on, on a contract. Or our health insurance. Because our health insurance is a pseudo-government agency. But yeah, um... No, that makes sense. I've heard of that before. Yeah, New Orleans is a lot of uh, seafood, so it's a lot of, uh... Um, a lot of, a lot of shrimp, a lot of crawfish. That's really what the area is known for. Um, oh, we got a pause. Forgot we were paused. I was sitting here like, why is it not growing? Why you no grow? Oh, never mind. Grow, man, grow. Okay. See you later, man. Have a good day. Okay, so we're gonna have our little uh, little area up here. We're gonna give them, give them a little school too while we're at it. You know, not a big one, just just a little one. Oh, maybe we'll give them a little bigger one. Pulls out biggest school. Biggest elementary school in the game. Boom! Ah, uh, the classic. You can eat seafood, but do not like... Uh... What's that? At all? I don't get that. Yeah, crawfish is the big thing in Louisiana. Crawfish is the... Is what Louisiana itself is known for in the Cajun country. Cajun country is kind of, I guess, south and west, but mostly south of New Orleans. Swamp tours are pretty cool. Been on a couple of those. That's definitely worth it if you if you go for outside of New Orleans stuff. Swamp tour is cool. But yeah, nothing beats the World War II museum for like the total experience. And they're constantly expanding it. Oh, okay. Fake fish. Part of the cod family. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if we've had fake fish. Other than imitation crab. Which is made out of, like, I think Alaskan cod and some corn starch and... Some good old... Ingenuity. Okay, so we'll let... Oh, yeah, that's right. Water. My bad. My bad, people. My bad! Let me get you some plumbing. Let me make it so you can flush your toilets. Take some showers. Okay. I think this area is good enough. No, 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 we're not. See, how's the fire up here? Fire's not good. Okay. Let's put the fire department here. Let's put the police department. There. And a small splat of fresh GMO. Well, I mean, like, you know. 
It ain't the real deal without the GMO, right? But no, like, uh... I mean, if it wasn't invented in a lab, this is what we've learned in COVID. If it's not invented in a lab, it's not good for you. Natural immunity is not good. Natural foods, then, are not good. The experts and scientists know better. I mean, always consult your doctor on what you're going to do and stuff like that. see how this builds. I, I kind of wonder how that's going to build there. Okay, how's our uh, stuff looking? Yeah, our capacity is looking good. Got enough childcare centers. People need to make babies. Good, good, good. People are making babies. This is what I like to see. We need we need more workers in the future. We have 5,000 houses waiting to be bought. Or household, I guess. We need 20,000 workers. Holy cow. <laughs> right? What? That's one of those one-uppers from back in the day, right? Like, that's just proof that there's always been one-uppers. People that'll always try to outdo the other. You think that's cool? Look what I can grow. Oh, that's nothing, man. There's always been those people. But I thought. Okay. They're gonna grow here and cut out the mountain. I'm gonna leave that there. such a crazy world well it's kind of funny because like if you really look at history i don't know if we've really changed that much as people you know like when you really look at history and really look at like what people did back then it's kind of funny how similar we really are at the end of the day just with different technology and different realities and how easy we have it today I mean, heck, I'm sitting here with a crazy amount of technology around me, with lights, talking to people around the world. And we all probably speak different languages at home. I mean, how crazy is that? You know, the fact that I don't have to go out to my farm. Ooh, what's going on here? I hope you're all moving in. Let's see, I might want to put trees up to block the sound. I'm going to make a kind of a general. I make like a, a general main pathway. Oh, how do we jump over here? 
thought something happened. Thought something cool happened for a second. Right? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, Quebec? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, how are you doing? Your city died? What do you mean by that? I have I have been following the Canadian craziness. Oh, you're talking about your your. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I. Sorry, I. I don't mean to laugh at your city's uh, demise, but uh, I thought you were talking about the real city of, uh, like Montreal or something. I was like, excuse me. I was like, wait, I don't think we invaded Ukraine yet, right? Or Russia you invaded Ukraine and then we went after him. I'm like, wait. Should I be worried? Should I be prepared? Yeah, a nuclear explosion. <laughs> I was like, wait. Dodged one. I live near a city that would be on that nuclear list. Yikes. So I'm guessing your nuclear plant exploded? I don't think that happened. They died because of a microwave. Oh, do you have microwave? Those hot pockets, man. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, wait a minute. Things have been too serious lately. We need to laugh more. Oh, not today, Nuke. Not today, right? Not all your city, just half of your city? Oh, okay. Lava hot hot pockets. Let's see, we should probably put a big park here. Something different. A little variety. Put a, put a mega park here. Can't get the city to grow because 40,000 people, they just die suddenly. You know, that kind of happened to me a little bit. I couldn't get my city to grow because I was always flooding. Ooh, this is not good. Those lights is what's blocking the uh, interstate road. That might be a candidate for a roundabout. I think I'm about to eminent domain this. Eminent domain? Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yep. It's sad, but it happened. I do like a Japanese garden or something there. Actually, we can put writing stables here. That'd be even cooler. Heck like, yeah, go ride the horses.
That's what we need to put down here. Beach volleyball. Oh, wow. Well, I guess that's what happens when you let the kids uh, experiment in the nuclear plant. It's always risks. It's always risks in using your master degrees, you know, your, what was it, your master students, your graduate students to, uh, you know, run your nuclear plant. Yeah, that is crazy, though. Does it, like, stay radioactive for a while? I've never had that happen in the game. Elementary school out here. Oh, fourteen hours of real lifetime. Wow. Wow. That's uh, that's intense. 14 hours of real lifetime. We'll get that 3x speed working and uh, we've got other things to do. Of a soccer field, do I? No. This is a neighborhood baseball diamond. Yeah, that's a DLC I don't want. I don't want the lockdown DLC. That'd be just depressing.
I thought it did all this for me. I must have to change the, uh, the settings. Pedestrian bridge over this. Ooh, that worked. Okay, they all look nice except for this one. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, just 3x that thing and hope for the best. Impressive. Okay, so that area is going to grow. I do want to build some trees around the highway here. start with large bush. So how are you going to recover from this? What's your plan? What's your plan?
right? Sounds like a good plan. The fallout shelter's going. I hear a company called Vault Tech uh, makes some really good shelters. I want to check them out. You just not paying the people doing the plant or what? How are you having all these nuclear disasters? Oh, I know what that means. Yep. I am not a new person to the internet. Even though I may look very young. Oops. Okay, let's give these people another way to go. Well, let's do a stack interchange here. And then we'll go do the, uh, the ore. This helps us kind of keep things lined up. We're going to make a three, three unit little dirt path off the highway to guide our, uh, we got our roads. I saw this technique uh, from another YouTuber, and uh, it was really cool. And it works to stay disciplined and make good looking, uh, 
good looking stuff by hand. That's our first trace in our stack. We'll adjust heights later. Right now we're just uh, trying to get our basic shape going.
Okay, so now we now we can do some height stuff. That's not exactly what I wanted. There we go. There we go. One more. Funky.
There we go. Nice. Okay, that helped. Good to know. Note to sell. We do some lane mathematics. Little little lane mathematics. I guess we don't... Oh. Oh, that's why. I was like, I guess we don't get a bridge. Oh, but we do. I just didn't have it selected. Cool. So that's... Oh, not totally ready yet. There we go. Cool. We're at 98,000. Come out, come out. Okay, so this one's going to probably have to go under. I don't think I can go over the top. Ooh. I did not see that. We're not done yet here. Our job is not finished.
Okay, four lane into five. So we got that one done. Now we're probably going to have to go underground for the second stack. Excuse me. I guess we could do it this way. Excuse me?
Why can't I put tunnels anywhere? Oh, is it because I'm in the wrong mode? Probably. There we go. That's that's better. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> uh that's a lot better than the other plan. The dirt roads don't like uh tunnels. gonna take a while to build this this is gonna take longer than i thought already been streaming for an hour and 43 minutes we've done more to to kind of fix the uh problems for our little uh little community here the little mountain uh base community For any uh, Royal, uh, Royal Canadian Mountain Police, I, d I did not mean base like right wing there, you know, so don't freeze my bank accounts. <sighs> I gotta stop <laughs> thinking about jokes like that. Uh, those meddling Americans, huh? Let us have our dictatorship, don't you know? Or no, don't you know it's the Wisconsin? See, it was like five and then went past that. Thank you. 
Ooh, we might have to go another... Might have to go another whole thing down. Oh, it's not gonna look... It's not gonna be symmetric. I'm gonna have to make them all longer. That's okay, that's easy. I guess I could try to make this a tighter... No, I can't really, because I'm dodging. Did I go right under? Ooh, that might be what happened. Oh, that's again. Step number two. Good enough for me. That's good enough! Cool, that worked. Okay, now we're gonna do... Ain't bad. Ain't bad at all.
That worked out. Okay, that looks good. Keeps our symmetry. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Who am I talking about? Right here. Um. How do we fix this? Try this. Ooh, that might have worked. Nice. That'll work for me. Okay, that turned out really well. By the way, thank you, uh, Quebec, for the subscription, and thank you, uh, 
Lone Blue Paladin for the subscription. I appreciate it. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. That way it's not as extreme of a... It still work. Gotta like it when a plan comes together. Cool, there we go. That worked.
That'll work nicely. You just messed... Oh, you messed it up? Oh, man. What'd you do wrong? Okay. Okay, time to detail. So now we have our stack interchange. Ooh, 99737. Ooh, we're almost to 100K. So we have our stack interchange that should help this area. It overboiled. Oh, no. 728, I want to see it when it happens. Oh, come on, peoples. Oh, eight, two, three. Come on, hundred K. Right down there. Ah. Uh, Oh, 99775. Come on, people. Come on back. Come on back. I want that 100k. Oh, come on. You know you want to. We got lots of jobs. We got jobs. Jobs everywhere. Eight twenty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty five. Come on. Eight forty five. Eight seventy seven. Oh, man. 893 899 923 Ah, oh, two people left. Really? Ah. Oh, oh. Can't have this. Nine ninety nine twenty two nine forty six nine fifty one. Come on, people. Nine forty eight. Nine fifty four. Come on, come on. Nine sixty two. I know, I know. It's like, oh no. 940, 946. 
Oh, are you kidding me? Now comes the fun part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to get fun now. Come on, 927. I just needed to hit 100k once. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, people. Oh, come on. 988? Oh, this is it? Oh! What in the world? 964. 984. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. 982? Yes! Yes! 100k! All right, we can go back to songs now. Actually, let's go to a different uh, different playlist here. So let's go back to our chill out acid jazz. Hundred K feels good. When when oh when probably my favorite song. Wah, 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 in this collection. Gotta love the uh, intersection. I forgot what it's called. I think it's like node joy. Node controller. We'll node control all the uh, the junctions. K. Oh, time. Only flooded my city about. 
you know, 30 times. Probably more, actually. Once you get all the nodes in, Accidentally did that. Didn't want to do it. Okay, so almost got this part done. So it's basically just lining up the different ramps at the nodes. That way, the that way when I do the markings, they all line up real nice.
Chevron Turn Turn Invert. Okay, almost got this one. That's also a Chevron turn turn. That is correct. At least for America. to get some ice I just ran out of a uh, beverage Oh, you're fine? Good. I'm glad you are. Cool, cool. Good news all around. Your teeth's gone. So you went to the right place. Isn't that the dentist? Doc, I don't know what happened. Eating too many candies? Oh, gotcha. I thought when you said hospital, I'm like, wait, isn't that wrong type of doctor? Sorry, I just came in for a checkup. I didn't know you are going to pull my teeth. I thought you just meant that, you know, metaphorically. You know, especially when I see the bill. I gotta go get uh, my teeth cleaned and checked and all that kind of stuff too. It's cheap, not even a dollar. Wow. Oh, probably, could, yeah, yeah, because it's probably, probably part of your taxes.
Is it like government stuff? Or is it really good? Is it just really good insurance? Right, right. Yeah, the only bad thing about something like that here is now that they're doing political stuff against people, I don't think I want my, uh, I don't want, I, I don't think I want my teeth to be political. I'm sorry. You voted for the wrong party. No dental work for you. That's where we're going here. Pray for us in North America. I don't think they are. I could be wrong, though. The only way that he's invading Ukraine is if NATO adds adds the Ukraine. I I think uh, I think my government is uh, trying to provoke the war. If I had to be totally honest. For everything I have to go on. It sure does seem like my president wants to uh, go to war really bad for some reason. Well, I know why. He's got bad poll numbers. And they think having a nice war will uh, get everybody to love him. Right. I say, man, like, if all Russia wants is us to leave Ukraine alone and just not add them to NATO, then let's just not add them to NATO. That's all good. That's all I say. I don't think that's such a big deal to prevent a nuclear war. Well, that's just me. That's just my opinion. Yeah, that's why I'm hoping cl uh, clearer heads prevail, but we got some crazy people running our government right now, so we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully they get it together.
rotate. Uh, I voted for him twice, and uh, I thought he was a great president. I thought he was the um, best president that I've ever had for my values as a conservative Christian. He did more for the Christian people as president than I've seen any other president before him in my lifetime. On top of the other things he did for other groups, but um, specifically for my group, we've always been promised things and not delivered. He was also awesome at maintaining peace, yes. A lot of people here just get into the pure hatred. There's a lot of like kind of left wing pure hatred here for things, um, which they're entitled to their opinion, you know, as far as like. But to start destroying people's lives over opinions, I don't know about that. That's too far. No, I, I do sometimes hear that from a lot of, a lot of people in other countries. We're, we're not perfect, but you could do a lot worse. And I think that's the thing is like no country's perfect, you know? We all have our... All have our faults. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy to think that France at one point was kind of like the premier world leader. And that if it would have went slightly different, everybody would be speaking French pretty much. Right. Did I do a five to four over here? No, I did not. Oh, I did a five to four over here, though. I, I think I take a balanced approach on that. I think in so, I think uh, the the young always think that the young are better until they get older. Now there are exceptions to that in some generations. Some generations are a little messed up. I think because of the experiences they've had and stuff, but. There's always the fallacy that 
you can do it better than the last person and that they just didn't know how to do it. Now, sometimes it's the ideology that they're ingrained in in that generation sometimes does hurt people. But... Yeah, TikTok's banned in India? Yep. All good. I mean, I, I personally am a American Christian conservative. Yeah, everybody always thinks they know better, which isn't a bad thing per se. I mean, it's good to try to do new things and try new things. Yeah. It's just sometimes people don't take into account what people have been through, how they got there, what was the... You know, um, sometimes even what was uh, politically advantageous to the person, you know, what's their goals? Are they there to get power? Are they there to, you know, what's the principles that they're, you know, going on? I think principles matter more than age, personally. I think you're seeing that, like, in America, we have, um, like, a lot of uh, communist ideas re resurfacing. Which happens every so often. And they're always repackaged in some other form. And everybody thinks it's always new, but... What you learn real quick is that there's nothing new under the sun. It might be slightly different in, in its like end form, but when it comes to governments, history doesn't repeat, but it sure does rhyme, as the saying goes. That's the new saying, at least. Which is an improvement on an old saying that says history repeats itself. And those who don't read it are doomed to repeat it. Or don't learn from it are doomed to repeat it. I think we're almost done. Oh, we got these down here. Four to five. Yeah, well, right now there's a big push. The Democrats are um, pushing for more communist-like ideas, socialists and communists. They're not really... There's a small part of it that's still classical liberals, but um, there's been a big push to uh, go communist, or at least socialist. And so that's actually been a big fight uh, here. And, act and they're... Uh, using uh, communist tactics to uh, um, intimidate. It's not fully working in some areas, and in some areas it is kind of working. Kind of. I think they might be overdoing it, and it's, and it's alerting people slowly. And I say slowly because this has been going on since probably well probably earlier but on the internet it's really been on the forefront since like 2010 2012 and in schools oh oh it's not all right it's a four to five
So you kind of got like the power structure of one political party that really for some reason thinks that that is advantageous for their election uh, winning to go communist or socialist. There's a whole generation of kids just about my age and younger that this that the uh, education system tried to teach telling them that communism is you know awesome and that capitalism is evil and there was a lot of people that kind of ignored all that stuff being taught and there was a lot of uh, hatred for america taught in schools it was just kind of starting when i was in school but it but they were still pretty pro-America, pro-capitalist when I was in school. But it was just starting to become part of the curriculum. Our, the education system basically not only did not teach uh, American point of view on things sometimes, but um, They sometimes outright don't teach certain things. Um, or they try to manipulate and twist things so that it seems worse than it is. I mean, there's always a, a good side and a bad side of certain events in history. Yeah, I'd say that's kind of a gist of it. I'm sure you would get a different uh, a different opinion from somebody that's from that uh, political party, but which you can find all over YouTube and Twitch. Right. So anyway, almost done here, and then we'll go build the ore area, I think. Just trying to get the last bit of markings down. A lot of the acad academic people that kind of helped spur the movement that's kind of going on, they kind of wish they were part of China, or they, they, that they were China, and that they were uh, like like the uh, Communist Party. Yeah. Here we were we were energy independent and then our president um after he was elected uh shut it down so now we're not now now our gas prices are going through the roof again so but it looks like in the next election um it looks like they're going to lose pretty badly. So. At least that's what it looks like. Anything can happen. It's a long time away. Alright, so this is flowing. Again. We got our roundabout. I actually didn't put my roundabout rules in. We'll do that to help it flow better. These roundabout rules are based on the roundabouts that I observed in Wisconsin. They were three lane roundabouts and they generally worked like what I'm putting together here.
And it seems like when I put these rules in, everything flows better on these roundabouts. Might need one here too. Can I make one small enough? Maybe. We can make a two lane road one. Uh, no, please. Huh. Yeah, we've been having uh, shipping problems here. Let's stop there. We gotta take that out. Yep. There we go, that should that should help this area flow a bit more.
Cool, pretty much worked. Keeping the traffic flowing. Cool. Well, I would like to start working on the other area here. I'm gonna put some pipes down. I'm gonna go work on the ore area here. Business is booming. Cool. Ports are being used. Good to see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this area with this area. So we're going to do a couple things with this. I work in television, uh, Christian television. up Have this go underground.
Cool. Oh, I only play songs that I have uh, um, the production rights to stream. So I can't play requests. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna... Where's the ship at? Yeah, we're gonna have to change the... Uh Bridges here on the way.
so it begins. What's up, Juice Pin? Yes, the the or area begins. Sorry for not seeing it earlier. Ah, going in and out of the zone tonight. We actually fixed up the uh, that little uh, town over on the other side. Actually got them, you know, the other highway actually connected. <laughs> connected this highway here so that, you know, people can actually leave that way without, well, they can actually leave. And then grew this up and we hit 100k, so... Our, our early stream goals have been made, so we're we're pretty uh, excited, or I'm pretty excited, I should say. Now it's moving. Already moved the track. Now it's time to. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do. Is flatten out a nice little gouge and then put another one in saving But I guess we can kind of make it look like we're we're like cutting into the hill here. Is the idea? these brushes though. Give it that kind of random mountain feel. It actually turned out pretty good. Do 
over there. Oh, too much. I'm gonna say give it a general smoothing, but that's We might have overdone it. You know what? So,
Yeah, good enough. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get it any better than that. There's just a hill we're carving into. Okay, so then I gotta go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna go do that. But we're gonna have to figure out how we want this highway to interact. Hey, thank you for the follow. What's up, Rami? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a mine. We're gonna put mines here and here. I'm gonna paint the area so we can do that. Then. Then what I'm going to do is probably bring that highway this way and around the bottom of this. There you go. So let me paint the area quick. There we go, so that means that there's ore there. So when I get back, after going to the bathroom and getting something to drink, uh, we'll start on that. We've been going for three hours already, but I, I do want to get a start on this and then start decorating it. Uh, I do want to put the port in first, so we'll put the port in first now that the water's settled. And uh, go from there. All in all, making progress, making good progress today. I feel like the most productive I've been in a long time on this. Oh, whoops. That was dumb. Yeah, so we'll probably we'll probably bring the highway 
this way and around. We could probably do... Probably do one highway this way. And then out. And then make a bypass, possibly, up through here. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. The mountains make it kind of difficult, but that's kind of why I picked the map. We've gotten some crazy results. So while I'm gone, enjoy the jazz, and uh, talk amongst yourselves. Don't get too rowdy. And, uh, let's see. I am going to put it in a mode where it's just going to cycle through some cinematics. So I'll be back. Okay. Let's see what we got. Here. Hey, what's up, Maruchin? How you doing, man? What have you been up to these days?
What have you been up to these days, Maruchin? Gotcha. Yep. Nice, nice. Have you been, uh, been able to play a lot of games or? I was going to say, yeah. How is it right now? Because I kind of stopped playing when the servers just felt like they were never going to get fixed and the gameplay kind of got a little repetitive. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm actually kind of glad I took a break though too, because I was going pretty hard there on Apex for a while. I might come back eventually. Like I said, I got burned so much, especially stream-wise because of the servers, I was like... When ranked stopped being fun because it was like burning me all the time, I was like, eh. Oh, that's going right into the mountain. Yeah, so, you know, taking one of those pretty epic times off, but I've, I'm sure I'll get the itch to play it again soon. I saw they had a new character. I wasn't, I haven't heard a whole lot about them.
Can I not? Yeah, I don't think I can create a parallel road behind the curve. So it's parallel road one. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a new ore area. We're right now building the highway that we're going to connect up here. And then I'm probably going to put another highway through here that then connects up with these guys somewhere in this area, probably. Man, these mods are just amazing. At what they can do. There's some type of uh, hotkey that I'm hitting for something else that's activating when I... We gotta fix the bridges too after we put down the port.
Oh, it's a three door. Technically, it's a five to a four to a three. Okay, hey, that's Highway 1. I guess if I take this square, I could actually extend this highway and go this way. So 
let's buy a square. Oh, where do we go? Okay, see you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Ah, you too, man. Okay, three. Let's see if we can do a big sweeping curve. Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the oh, area. Oh no 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 no! Should avoid roads and waterfront. Ah! A tsunami has struck the city. Ah! Tsunami! And avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Oh no! Oh no! A tsunami! Right in the middle of my building. Hey, what's up? Oh! Not the city! Konnichiwa! No! Spare the city? Oh no. Uh, pretty good, man. How's yours? Oh, tsunami. Oh, look at all that. My, there goes my cash, too. I don't have enough cash to weather this storm. Oh. Just. We're turning off all the stuff and we're watching this happen. that tsunami we like the vibrant oh, it's nice oh our town we just built it Dude. Don't drive into it. Oh, look at all those people. It missed the hydro plant. Woo! That would have been terrible. If it would have broke the hydro plant. Oh, that would have been that would have been worse. What's up, Robert? Aliens don't seem so bad anymore, right? Not the lighthouse! Oh no! The pillar of the community! For hundreds of years! Oh, wow. Gone. Disappearing. Oh, I built one over there. Already done. Old news. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll show you later. We just got Tsunami! Well, I'm glad, you know. <laughs> uh. A tsunami has struck the city. Okay, Take well, how's the ports looking? Hey, fishing boats, you're gonna have to move. You're gonna have to ride the wave. Maybe you can catch more fish. Wow.
Yeah, the airport works a lot like the industries and stuff, and then they have they use the taxiways as roads and stuff. Kind of cool. Kind of a cool system. I didn't re when I built the airport that you're gonna see in a little bit. Um, I didn't really know like how it worked totally. Holy cow! Oh, the humanity! Wow. Victor! Look at the pump trucks. The brave. Oh man, you guys are all taking on the wave. You can't take on- Oh! He's pumping away! He's pumping away! Is he gonna pump away the tsunami? Vacuum it up! Uh, it's gone. Yeah, this is what happens. Back here. Oh, the vacuum pumps! Victor! Hold the line! Oh, they're all gonna get- they're all gonna get overtaken. Oh! Well, there goes all the boats. Oh, but look at, look at the pump trucks. Victor, pumped away the tsunami, saved the hospital. God bless you guys. Woo! What a story. Man, they saved the hospital. That's what I'm talking about. That's dedication right there. Victor, Dan, and Sam. Come on, guys, you gotta keep saving the hospital. Yeah, I didn't have time to evacuate everybody. I gotta put a buoy out there. Woo! Still going. Thankfully, there's not a lot of stuff over here other than the, uh, well. The people fishing are gone. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Clean slate, huh? Uh, they'd be... They'd be inside this building here. And probably that one too. But they'd have been out in the streets more. I mean, I guess they die either way. Uh, yeah, I think you're getting caught. Death toll on this one's going to be big. You could. I didn't. I like the shoreline. Well, that's one way to start over.
Wow. I think the tsunami lost its power here. Maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, it just keeps flowing till it uh till it ends, and then it'll flow it back this way. Like if this flow is stronger than the tsunami, it'll push it back this way, which I think is starting to happen. But I think our river is actually flowing hard enough to push it back. But that's devastation right there. Look at that. That whole area wiped out. They're already building back though. the things oh here the we go tsunami has struck the city take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the oh yeah my disaster relief people are right now rescuing people out of here that's what that that's what those signs are we're, re we're rescuing people right now The helicopters are looking for survivors. So at some point this will return to normal. Maybe, maybe the height Yeah, underwater volleyball court, yep. Yeah, they would not have had enough food. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have a tsunami detector out. the city take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes i 
There we go. Some mods probably. out here well, have I been will I be streaming for uh, I'm not sure probably another half hour to an hour well See, we can go ahead and put this on the highest mountain here. So that should help as far as radio. We need earthquake detention too. Use all planes, yep, yep.
Oh, the police headquarters. I don't have enough money. Oh no. Okay, see you later, man. Cool. Get bailed out after that. The tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. I mean, I think the the tsunami itself is dead. I'm just dealing with the aftermath. The water sloshing everywhere. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. All right, so that stunk a lot. That wiped out this whole area. Workers. I thought it was power. No, it is power over here. What happened over here? The tsunami hit over here? Are you kidding me?
Okay. The tsunami hit over here? Hey man, just makes it, just makes it, you know, spicier, I guess. Ah, oh, that's it. That's it. I might have to reload before all this. We're bankrupt. Uh, the autosave was only three minutes ago. That hurts. Yep. Hey man, it happens. A tsunami has struck the city. I was kind of spending money like a reckless abandon anyway, because I did I didn't really think about that. and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Well, restored power. Max taxes for a couple, yeah. I might have to. Well, it's coming back now. I'm trying not to have to do it. I didn't realize this got hit. We're fine as long as it lets me keep playing. Hey man, thanks to the brave men and women of the pump trucks, the hospital survived. Brave men and women of the pump trucks. Their vacuum sucking power held back the tsunami of 2102.
Now we're going to have to build a memorial. I think we learned pump trucks are OP. Yeah, they are. That was amazing. I could just see the movie. Hollywood would be all over it. Don't turn off the pumps! Hey, we got funds. Or we just gotta wait for the water to recede. Yeah, this area got hit. Is the tsunami like invisible right now? Yeah, I think I need to get more pump trucks is what this what this means. Well it's blowing back now. My new area is underwater again. Looks like I'm not building that today. My sinkhole disaster right there. We went from 100,000 to 68,000 and this time it wasn't my fault. Or pump trucks and take it from the top, yeah. Now I got a radio tower. I got the tsunami beacon over here now. Man, if this would have broke, it would have been terrible. That would have been it. It all been done. Not my fault, says every politician ever. Hey man, natural disasters happen. Now, as far as being prepared for it, uh... That was a pretty crazy level. Let's see. Yeah, one of my mods must be must be interfering with the uh Probably put evacuation stuff down too. That would have been disastrous. Yeah. 
Well played. Well played. I guess we'll start putting some of these down. Oh, not enough money. These cost a ton. Not bad. What was I thinking? Four thousand eight four thousand two hundred eighty three building photos automatically. I was going to say, did it even destroy my trees? Not my trees. Well, at least everybody's cool going back to the mall. Yeah, look, they're already going back to the mall. They're, they're good, they're good. The only problem is uh, the Piggly Wiggly's looking to hire. We need workers at Piggly Wiggly. Isn't that what self checkout's for? Thirty-six passengers. I have to go at least 12 for a while. Too high a taxes? Is that what that is? I've never seen that. Yeah, tax is too high. I have never seen that symbol before. In the 800 hours of gameplay.
Moment of sheesh. Yes. We need to honor... Okay, what's happening? Is my disaster is like up through the roof sinkhole? Okay, we're turning you down. Why is it all happening at once? I think I have. I want to save what I've done so far. Where is this? Oh. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and co contact authorities with any information. Okay. Well, that missed everything. That's a good thing. So once I put it to 12%, everybody's cool now. Well, we did lose about 15,000 old people. Yikes. Remember to dab on them haters? They had it coming, I guess? I mean, I guess at this point, life continues. Power restored to a lot of areas. Not this one, though. Oh no. Hope your eye feels better. The nerve. Okay, so that should count that should put all that back to power. Okay, so we got power back to that. You guys are having some trash problems. Yeah, 
Okay, okay. How are we doing over here? So we're trying to get power. To certain places by adding parks. Okay. Well, the nuclear plant survived. That's good. All the pump stations survived. Well, I guess tonight I'm not moving the ore. I was going to build this whole ore mining thing, like we're carving into the mountain and stuff, and I guess we're not going to do that tonight. Okay. gonna try to make it look like we're carving into the mountain and do all sorts of things we had we had all these plants and then we got hit by a tsunami and a sinkhole 201 citizens lost i doubt that that what oh that's because the sinkhole what about the other disaster we don't get a report on the other disaster Ah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Oh, and it doesn't cost that much either. Good to know. Yeah, the tsunami definitely killed like tens of thousands of people. Yeah, because right here is going to go a cargo hub port. I think we're done jumping power, though. I think we got power back. We're back up to 70,000. We're collecting money again. I'm going to this time wait till that gets to, like, millions of dollars, though. Millions of dollars. Holy cow. Well, I guess they caught a lot of fish. a lot of fish sticks. Yeah, I guess at this point, we're just kind of waiting. I was going to uh, move the terminal at the airport at some point. But I guess we're just kind of waiting to see what goes on here. So that kind of ended the uh, plans for tonight. There's a lot of wonderful narratives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of wonderful narratives. No, it doesn't work, and it still doesn't work. 
Uh, Angry Joe says it all. Tornado? <laughs> Oh, uh, no, no, please, no, please. I did turn down the disaster level. We literally had, like, very little disasters at that setting, and then suddenly, boom, boom, boom! Like, we're being bombarded! <laughs> How's it going? Uh, depressed guy. Well, um... We just got done with a tsunami and a sinkhole. And uh, we lost uh, about half our citizens. Other than that, uh, we were doing pretty good. <laughs> Actually, the only part of the city over here that survived was the part, pretty much the part that I built tonight. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. See, this is the exciting yet frustrating part of uh, having disasters on, is it does make it interesting. I just didn't want it to be interesting right then. So my airport... Sounds like a normal day in the USA. All the hurricane... Yeah. I live in New Orleans, so yes. Hurricane Ida uh, really messed things up here. Hey! Thank you for the subscription, Steven Spry. Appreciate it. Um, the terminal here, I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to shift this airport over here at some point. And also I'm going to change the, uh, I'm going to spread out the taxiways a bit more. Like I didn't realize how they, they need a little room to breathe. We'll do that and then we'll detail it and then we'll probably put a cargo plane here. I tried to make realistic, uh, international, uh, airport runways. And, uh, I didn't realize the size of these things. Because if, because if one square is eight meters, this is like an average size international runway. Nuts. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anything I can do? I mean, I, I guess... I guess we're just gonna wait for everybody to come back. Come back! Come back! Let the money flow for a while. The ups and downs of the money. I guess we can pay back a couple of the loans. Actually, all the loans. Let's pay back all the loans. Alright, city's debt free again. Thank you, citizens. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Well, this is fun. <laughs> Let's see, is there... Is the, is the only disaster they're showing is the sinkhole? Sinkhole tsunami, oh. Yeah, it's not 201 citizens lost. I don't think so. 157 buildings destroyed. Like, this whole area is gone, and I went from 100,000 citizens to 70. Or to 60. Back from the brink of destruction, yes, yes. What I may have to do is, uh... Build... I 
I don't know if one of these is going to help for what's happening over here. I doubt it. I might have actually made it worse. Excuse me? <sighs> Begins again. I don't think any of that helped. Or maybe it did, I don't know. Oh, Twitch. That's coming from Twitch. Yeah, this will slosh around for a while, but I think it'll it'll come back to normal soon. No Twitch link in description? Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I should put one. At one point I was trying to promote my YouTube only. I've been on Twitch. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Did he just jump? Holy cow. They're, they're, uh... Okay. They're doing wheelies. With their boats. All right. Um. Excuse me. Yeah, it's the Seven Star General. It's the same thing. Sorry, I'm just really tired right now. It's the... It's the same name as the... Uh, I'm probably going to go to bed once I fix this thing. I am tired. Yeah, it's a uh, 
twitch.tv slash the seven star general. Yeah, for a while there I was like, I only want to promote my YouTube. No, I don't care as much. No, grab it. Oh, no problem, man. No problem. Ugh. I am in that frustrated, tired mode now. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to get mad. Stupid, move it. I do not want my uh, alter ego, General Disdain, to come out. Not tonight. We're having so much fun. General Disdain should not find the light of day right now. What just happened? We don't need him. No, no, we don't need him. happening guys well that's my problem well there's your problem airplane path. I can build anywhere I want. Oh! Okay, there we go. Now nobody's doing wheelies over my little, uh... Actually, that did work. That actually turned into a harbor now. Oh, look at these things. What are you guys doing? What is happening? Who built you? See, do you think adding more rocks is going to help here?
I should stop messing with it. See, I don't know what, like, makes a harbor, like, so, like, resilient. I guess this would be one way, is to, like, make it so that the water can flow the other way. This is going to, in the short term, not be good, but in the long term may help yeah i knew in the short term this wouldn't be good okay ah uh, this is this is my this is my weakness, thinking that I can just sit here and carve my way out of landscape issues. Oh, yeah, I, can, I need to stop. Okay. I need to just let this settle, not touch it. I've done enough. Done enough disaster. <laughs> uh, done enough disastrous things with the river. Found it? Nice, nice. What's up, man? Why? This is my own doing. Look at the pump trucks go. Pump it. Oh, the taxi. Taxi's waiting. Surrounded by pump trucks.
Now, there's a lot of force behind this water. A lot of force behind this water. Uh, let's see. We should probably, since since we got uh, actually some viewers here, and I am fading fast. Like holy cow, am I fading fast? Let me see who we can raid. It's been a while since I've actually done a proper raid. I should I should be better at it. I'm not. I'm... I should probably get into better better Twitch community etiquette. Whatever you want to call it. Let's see. It's not that I don't want to do it. It's that uh, a lot of times I'm so tired. I just kind of just go boom. Just like. Just pass out and go to sleep. Let's see. City Skylines. Let's do that. I got the wrong keyboard. Alright, this one. Hey, what's up, man? I think this whole area is just doomed. I think I'm going to have to give up this area. Or put it higher. <sighs> it's nice while it lasted. Look at the force of that water coming down. I am. Oh, you subscribe to me? Nice. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Like how we didn't do any markings there. Good slide. Yeah, I think there's just too much water coming through here. Like, this is not going to survive. Should probably raise everything. I'm in the one more click endless loop. Someone save me. Just one more click will fix it, guys. Just one more click. I just know it. I might have overdid it.
Ooh, I think I did it. Just a bit overdone. Yeah, it's just a little, you know? Just kind of over... You know, got a, got a bungee cord your way down to, uh, to your, to your uh, things. I think it's still overdone, but let's see. 10 meters above water level should work. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. You know, I kind of agree. We're we're that we're that we're at that point where it's like, you know, maybe maybe repelling down to your boat's not a bad thing. Yeah. Well, and I'm trying to make it to where I guess like I'm just going to have to make this even deeper here. And just live with this. Hey, what's up? Oof! All right. Well. So once again, I messed with it. When I shouldn't have. And uh, hopefully... So this is where you don't touch it till it settles, and then you find out if it's actually uh, a problem or not. You just have a lot of water flowing from over here. I guess I could chill out putting water behind the hydro plant.
What map? Uh, this map is, uh, um, Mountain Meadows in the workshop. It's, I, I picked it because I wanted a map that wasn't just, like, flat, and it's got, like, you know, the mountains look really cool. Uh, I semi-regret it. But it's been interesting. <laughs> Um, it's definitely a a landscaping mountainous map. Uh, Mount, yeah, Mountain Meadows is what it was called. And uh, it's kind of cool, though. Like, it is a challenge. And it definitely has not been boring. Uh, so. So anyway, well, I think I'm going to end it there. Because it's getting late and I've been streaming for five hours. Uh, so the plan... So so we built up this area. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. Um, so we built up this area. And little did we know that this area actually saved us having this area up and running. Because a tsunami came through towards the end of the game and wiped out our little uh our little extra suburb over here next to our crazy awesome hydro plant that even with 60% funding is at 880 megawatts and so uh over let's see so anyway so I don't like this area, which is my industries that I built it when I started, because I don't like the spaghetti and I don't like all this kind of stuff and it, it's not very efficient and a lot of traffic and blah, blah, blah. So, I'm, so what I'm doing is I'm going to put the ore over here. I want to make it look like we're carving into the into this hill here and grabbing all the ore. So I was going to put the uh, mining stuff here. And then, like, put the factories over here. And then have two highways. Uh, I think what I was going to do was take this highway, turn it down this way, have it run almost parallel over the top. That way we get parallel uh, highways here and maybe end, end the highway there. And then have this highway go all the way to the edge and out at some point. So that's the plan there. So I was just about to start on this because I was going to put a port right here. And everything was going to be awesome. Yeah, so I was going to put a cargo hub port. Maybe expand the port out a little bit. Um, let's do like a cargo hub one. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. And, uh, so that, 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 that's the plan for next stream, then. And, uh, we'll get that rolling. It'll be fun. It'll be awesome. After I do that, then I probably will move the airport terminal out here and fix up the airport a bit. Because I want to, I want to make the, uh, taxiways a little further apart and the runways further apart so that the planes... Um, don't actually touch wings when they pass each other. So, that's the plan there. So that's my kind of two plans. Um, and I have a big oil area over here that I could probably do, or I'm even here. This area actually would probably be better because it's right next to the ports. Even though it's kind of funky with the railroads and stuff. I just don't want it to pollute the river. But I guess at this point it's at the it's at the end of the river where we can pollute it. But I don't know. I don't know. Everything's up in the air yet. The, this will eventually run back through here and connect over here. So those are kind of the penciled in tentative plans. We've been having fun, fun with intersections and interchanges, and been liking the single point parklow. 
It's been working for us. We did a stacked diverging diamond, which uh, turned into spaghetti. But hey. Then we got the single point urban interchange, which I don't know if I like as much. I guess I put I should have put two lanes here too. Anyway. So anyway, so that's kind of the overview of the city. And uh, I had just expanded this area too tonight. And this area just got destroyed. So basically most of the areas that I expanded got destroyed. Uh by the uh, tsunami. So that's fun. Then we got our train tracks with the with the quay. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I am going to bed. I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Who am I going to raid? Oh, I'm ending. I, I I have been streaming for five hours, and I need to I need to go to bed. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to be playing Hearts of Iron Four. I'll be back playing City Skylines on Tuesday night. Somebody has an AFK. Oh, thanks, man. You too, man. Have a good night. Um, let's see. Somebody has. Let's see. Trying to find somebody back to the city grind. City in a lagoon. Disasters. Interesting. Seahorse Island? Oh, it's afternoon there? Nice. It will be if I don't hurry up and uh, get us a raid here. Seahorse Island sounds cool. How about Gopper Gaming? Alright, let me go. Okay. Gopper Gaming. On the YouTube side, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. On the Twitch side, I'm going to go ahead and uh, raid Gopper Gaming. Go say hi. Be nice. 8.30 p.m. there. It is 3.30 a.m. here. So I need to go to sleep. Thankfully, I don't have to work. So I'm going to go ahead and start the raid, guys. I will see you later. I, I will not be joining you in the raid because I need to go to bed. I'll see you guys later. Bye.